Welcome, my name is Danny Reese, and I am a Customer Success Manager at Hoist. Since March this year, the global hospitality industry has been reeling under the greatest slump in history. In this video, you will get practical and tangible guidance on how to reassess, rebuild and adapt room pricing to the market following COVID-19. This video is part of the Phoenix Programme, a unique Hoist initiative that is aimed at helping hotels across EMEA to overcome the impact of COVID-19. It has three carefully crafted packages that are packed with advice, free hotel technology and a lot more. Prior to thinking about pricing, it is important to understand which segments may be filling your hotel. It seems to be a consensus among industry experts that domestic business will fill, build first, followed by domestic leisure or staycations, and then finally groups. Some hotels may be thinking about reorientating their marketing towards a new client type, exploring and conquering new markets that are not usual for your hotel. It is thought that international travel will build at a more gradual pace, with travel restrictions still in place in some countries. It is important not to lie solely on this segment. However, the details can vary and may be affected by the exact conditions of each country or region. One of the best indicators on when these markets start to pick up come from the Boston Consulting Group. The site allows you to view volumes of flight tickets and tells you how the market is evolving. It is a lot of key, valuable data, but it is easy to digest and read. Reassess who your competition is. As COVID-19 has modified both service offering and market positioning, there may be some drift in competitive sets. Try to assess who your competitors are according to purchase drivers and facility limitations. If necessary, temporarily modify your comp set to ensure you are correctly monitoring the market. Normally, hotels will have a clear vision on this, but it can be blurred. For example, in some cases, restaurants or spas are not open or not at full service. Therefore, you may not now be able to benchmark against your previous competitor due to your unique selling point being closed. These value-add services can drive additional demand. Start rebuilding your forecasts. Previous forecasts that you had may now not be accurate. And with a slow market recovery, it will be difficult to rebuild forecasts for the end of the year. Start understanding how things are working post COVID-19. Start your forecast small and begin to increase to a longer date range. Try not to preempt too far into the future without some further clarity. Many events will be cancelled or have a lot of reduced numbers. Constantly check your pace or booking reports to provide further insight on booking trends. You were used to a relatively stable way of building up your business, whereas now it is changing to a more last minute booking period due to customer uncertainty. It is evolving to a booking window of around 30 days prior to arrival. Cross check how the COVID-19 KPI is evolving. We have witnessed that markets slow down with increased cases and regions reverting to lockdowns. This W-shaped curve will affect your market. Build a plan to work through the forecast differently. Some websites where you can check data for building forecasts for events or conventions, you can view it by sub convention or city. Start to revisit overall holiday calendars in light of new market dynamics. You may be aware of your own country's holidays, but being aware of the holiday time in your feeder markets will provide insight into travel times and market pickup. Most importantly, hospitality business will recover. The biggest question is when and at what pace? Using the Hoist Group Data Lake, we have developed a powerful and reactive platform for our hoteliers to visualize the impact of COVID-19 is having on the industry as a whole, and specifically how it affects your business. We've created this dynamic tool that can be utilized for trend analysis on occupancy, ADR, RevPAR, and much more, allowing businesses to be perceptive and responsive in recovering from the current situation. The revenue analysis tool can provide insights for trends for effective forecasting and pricing. It will show the real buildup of booking curves at any point in time with the market segmentation drill down as well. These curves have a shape that you have not predicted or forecasted against before, and they will prove to be unstable and volatile. 
If you monitor them closely, it will provide insights to the new patterns. Alongside this, the COVID-19 Hospitality Indicator page will show market evolutions in not only your own hotel and region, but in other regions also. There are also some additional useful sites for monitoring booking trends through online channels. For example, DH and SiteMinder. You need to verify your forecast accuracy and monitor for changes regularly. A good place to monitor activity is your booking engine. When markets start to build up, you will see bookings coming in and you will see a spike in rate checks on your website. It is the best early warning that something is happening. For example, if you see there is an increase in rate checks for the second week in August, it will assist in your market forecasting. Monitoring your conversion rate on how many rate checks you get for a date versus how many bookings have converted, those dates will also be a key for the new forecast model. It will assist in identifying if you're possibly overpriced or if you have possibly lowered your rates too much, which can be damaging for your brand. Adapt your pricing. Weak demand is there. It will take time for the market to improve, but lowering your rates will not fix the situation. Lowering rates doesn't create demand. You need to sit with your team and agree on what is a reasonable rate without devaluing your product. In 2009 crisis, 20 to 25% of the rev power was lost. This took several years to rebuild. So we expect this to happen again following the COVID-19 crisis. If we use the simple equation to demonstrate how lowering your rate can impact your net revenue when the same occupancy is expected. For example, a hotel with 100 bedrooms with an average occupancy of 50% due to COVID-19 restrictions. If my average daily rate is 70 euro per night, this will equate to around 3,500 euro in revenue. If we take into account that my operating costs will be 40 euro per room at 50% occupancy, if I drop my daily rate to 65 euro per night, I now have a net effect of, on my earnings of 250 euro per night. This over a month period can equate to around 7.8 grand. It is important to remember, once you take your rates down, it is difficult to raise them again. If your segments are going to change, take a step back and ensure your rate card can cover the necessary demand on the new market. For example, if your business is moving from a more corporate to a leisure market, Ensure that you possibly have value-added packages, like a two-night stay with dinner and breakfast, or maybe even a spa treatment if it's open. Also, look at the implementation of automated pricing. It's a segment of revenue management strategy employed across hospitality industry, involving real-time incremental pricing adjustments to maximize returns as occupancy changes. Hotels naturally do this, but in many cases, it is a very manual process which can dramatically reduce the effectiveness and potential returns. One of the most effective ways for hotels to achieve this is to move to automated, rule-based room rate pricing as the core of their best available rate or bar rate and associated rate strategies. Utilizing automation allows the hotel to always reflect occupancy changes in current and future pricing allowing the booking patterns to directly influence your room pricing for both your bar and package pricing many times per day. Automated or dynamic rate price rate, price rate management for rates and packaging will allow you to take granular control of room pricing deployment. Monitor your reputation regularly and make sure your scores are not degrading. You can understand your guest experience at your hotel during this time and keep track of how the situation is evolving by monitoring the feedback received via online reviews and guest surveys. In this way, you can limit damage, clear up uncertainties, or just thank guests for their support. As in any crisis, it's important to know the right away what the guests are saying. Update your current response strategy to fit these exceptional circumstances. Communicate clearly with everyone on how they should respond to COVID-19 reviews and what escalation processes they should follow in case a guest made some serious accusations. This will provide a quick and swift response, which will be crucial when handling such sensitive crisis. 
Responding to reviews is now a priority, whether positive or negative. If your guests took the time to leave a positive comment, thank them for their support and show appreciation. If your guest is concerned about any aspect of their time at your hotel, escalate to a senior member of staff to take the time to follow up and alleviate any worries as quickly as possible. Remember that it is not only your guests, but thousands of potential guests that will be looking to be able to regain trust and confidence. Ensure you stand out from the crowd. In the current environment, reputation losses can be very costly. Remember, guests can be very sensitive to some specific conditions. Lastly, reassess your restrictions. By implementing a flexible cancellation policy, hotels can reassure guests and give them the incentive to book, while combating OTAs that often make it difficult to cancel. Having a flexible cancellation policy on the hotel website will be critical to ensuring direct bookings. Overall, if your hotel brand wants to maintain strong brand loyalty and enforce confidence to rebook, your hotel should maintain a flexible, stress-free cancellation policy for at least the next six months or until at the end of the year. If you have any questions or comments on this topic, please contact us at marketing at Thank you. Thank you.